In 2014, Harley started installing these speaker pods in their upper fairings on their touring models, claiming structural integrity of the fairing, even though for a bazillion years they didn't have them. As you can see, they take up a ton of room. You'd be hard pressed to even get a couple of crossovers in there. Uh, they rattle, and God forbid you want to change the speakers. There are companies out there that make brackets. These particular brackets are Biketronic brackets. Uh, and as you can see, there's now a ton of room for other things. Now, people will argue that speakers need an enclosure to sound better. Well, I don't have the pods anymore to test that theory. So I bought a couple of these little enclosures. I'm going to enclose the speakers. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison test. And we'll see if there's a difference. Uh, I'm interested to know if the fairing itself is a tight enough space to be considered an enclosure. So without any further ado, here's the video. All right, these showed up today while I was out riding. They're, uh, oh, I apologize if I've deprived anybody of the unboxing experience. But trust me when I say these were more of a rip an Amazon envelope open type experience. And it wasn't that dramatic. What you see is what I got, and here's what they are. Boom mat speaker baffles. And uh, I'll show you the top here. They're a must have for any speaker install. So I'm gonna take these and install them over the speakers in the fairings, and we'll see what kind of difference an enclosure makes. And trust me, you're gonna to wanna to hear this. All right, so I popped the fairing off real quick, and I disconnected the inputs to the amps in the bags. And I disconnected the rear speakers. And I set up a little rig here to hold my camera. So the only speakers that are going to be running are the upper fairing speakers. We'll do a before and after test here to see if the boom mat speaker baffles do anything at all. Uh, I'm using a Boya BY-MM1. It's like a Rode Micro. So it should sound not too terribly bad. I'm hoping it'll sound good enough that we can tell the difference. Uh, the song I picked, I picked because it's got very tight drums, very tight bass, and uh, it's a good song for this kind of test. So let's give it a try. I'm just gonna play a few seconds of this song so you get a feel for what we're dealing with, and then I'll do the changeover. speaker out and here's the boom mat speaker baffle and uh, we'll just put the speaker back in the bracket for a second the baffle just sits right on top like that boom instant enclosure now I probably could just get away with a four screws that hold the speaker on I just happen to have this ring from another set of 6.5s that I have kicking around here and it fits almost perfectly on there so I will use the ring as a template to build a big washer. Let's do it. All right, there we go, they're in. Let's close it up, see if they work. So one more time, I'll play the before I put the baffles on. So 
I've made no changes at all. All I did was turn the bike off. Everything's exactly the same as the first test. So one more time I'll play the before I put the baffles on. And the after. And there you have it. There definitely was a difference. Uh, if you're listening to this through a phone or an iPad or even through laptop speakers, chances are you're not going to be able to tell a difference. But if you were listening to this on a half-decent sound system through your computer, you're definitely going to be able to tell a difference. Now, I'm not going to tell you which sounded better because sound is subjective. Uh, you can let me know in the comment section which one you thought was better and how you felt about the whole thing. And uh, we'll leave it at that. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe because subscribing just encourages these shenanigans. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.